Hey, hey, good evening, everybody. We're on St. Simon's Island, and a big cargo ship is coming by. That is uh, actually quite a ways away, even though it looks really close. Um, so I'm probably going to just have to pause the video. So what I'm trying to get is uh, the wake that is uh, generated by the ship. So um, I'm on a sandbar right here, so I'm pretty safe. Um, and when the wake comes, I imagine that the water is going to get pushed up this way. So we're going to uh, we're going to see what happens. <clears throat> I'm going to get out on the sandbar just a little little ways out here so we can see it happen from the side but yeah the uh, as far away as that boat is even though it looks mighty close um, it still takes about 10 minutes for the wake to get all the way to us and checking out these wakes are something that that fascinates me so, wait a minute, I spoke way too soon. I hear it. I hear it already. Look how still everything got. Look at this, it just got totally still and there's the wake. There it is. Wow, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. It's almost like, a, in a way, a tidal wake or a tsunami because all the water gets pulled out. So see, there's no more waves up here at the line where they were, and here this thing comes. <laughs> wow, that happened a lot faster than I thought it would, goodness. Yeah, so this is where the waves were breaking, and then again, the water just gets sucked out right before the wake, which is, it's not, uh, high waves or anything like that it's just a bunch of water that gets shoved up on shore all at once so here it comes again i don't think it's going to make it to where i am but yeah this is what happens when one of these ships comes by and boy is it flying look at that look at that speed Oh yeah, this thing means business. Holy cow, look at all that water. Yeah, look right there in the dead center of the screen. And this is coming right straight for me right now, but again, I think it's gonna go beside me. Look at that. <laughs> now, if this were high tide, that would be kind of hard to see coming. And these things get really dangerous uh, at high tide. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming where I am. <laughs> oh, man. I got to step back a little bit. Look at that. It's still going. Wow. Wow. Still got a little bit. There's usually about three sets of three sets of I don't want to say waves, but um, like three big pushes. So that was the first one. Uh, here comes the second and third kind of kind of behind that the first one is usually the the biggest push <laughs> But those boats <clears throat> those boats that come through have a lot of force up underneath the water and uh, From what I understand. I mean, it's something like 40 feet underneath uh that the, the boat itself is about 40 feet underneath the water somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that and that is getting look at this look at that it's just getting shoved up really fast oh man okay okay gotta back up gotta back up look at oh man look at that look at all that water wow Look at this up here. <laughs> Man. And that's pretty much it. But if you were standing there just minding your own business while the waves were breaking, um, 
right here earlier when I first started filming um, you wouldn't know this was about to happen unless you uh, you know unless you're familiar with what happens after one of those big boats comes by yeah now I think everything's kind of trying to get back to normal but a dead giveaway is the the waves and everything just stop and next thing you know you have just an unbelievable amount of water getting pushed towards you the good thing though is this is low tide or well the tides coming in but still it's it's very very low right now and yeah this is still from the ship because the waves aren't really all that uniform so this is still more from that ship wow yeah, it's it's uh, it's kind of chaotic. Uh, it's not uniform like a, like a regular tide is. Um, but when that first wake hits, whoo! It it um, it really really brings a lot of water with it, and that's what you got to watch out for. If it's um if it's high tide and those boats are having to uh, really rev the engines up to to get themselves into port or out to sea, if there's some winds that they're fighting or something, um, you know they're really plowing through that water, and whenever that happens. Uh, I mean, I've seen some massive, massive waves. Um, here's a spot right here that, that got completely covered up right, right now. This is kind of a... This was, like, totally empty before the wake came. And actually, the water... The wake jumped the sandbar right back there and filled all this in right here. This is a pretty big area. Um, it's really hard to wrap your head around just how much water it is unless you see it in person, but I'm just gonna wrap it up from there. So, uh, yeah, it got pushed, water got pushed up onto this sandbar pretty, pretty good. Um, that was way more than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> but that's it, so yeah, a little something different on a full moon. St. Simons Island, Georgia. There's the VB-10,000 cutting up the capsized Golden Ray vessel way down there. Uh, it was It's doing its third cut tonight. Um, and then it'll be lifting that piece and taking it away for them to get all the cars off of it. And... Um, there's only, I think, three more cuts to go. So yeah, this is an absolutely gorgeous night to be out. Beautiful moon, not a cloud in the sky. Um, this spot right here, real quick, is starting to empty out. So just a second ago, this was totally full, full of water. So just to give you an idea of how much water came in, check this out. Again, this I, I would be underwater right, right now. Um, so... It's gone back out. So, this filled in all the way up to here, right there. And now it's uh, emptied out just about as fast as it came in. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Fun times. Hey, guys, everybody, take care of yourselves and uh, each other. And uh, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you uh, taking the time to see the fun little things I find out on the beach. And tonight, we caught a wake. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. <laughs>